about a month ago, a friend introduced me to these little kind of uh, display boards. They're sold as a kit, so you get the uh, PCB display chip, or the chip in this case is a, a Mac 7219, so it's a serial in uh, display driver. And so these kits, the display can be used on their own just to kind of display what you want, or you can kind of stack them. So you've got uh, input and output ports on each board, so you can chain them through. And so I, I decided to order 10, uh, this is about a month ago, and they turned up a couple of days ago. And so I've just been having a play to see what I can do with them. I don't have any particular uses or project ideas in mind, so it's more a case of just see if I can do something kind of quick and fun with them. And so what I've come up with is a circular display. I hooked, uh, I built the 10, hooked them up in a long line, and then it kind of it looked quite an interesting effect when they started to curve around. So I've designed and printed a load of these kind of carrier boards. And so the display kind of clips into the board here, and then it's designed to then kind of bolt together so you can have a big kind of circle of these screens. And so I'm currently constructing this. I'm hopefully going to finish it off now or next hour or so and have quite an interesting display. So you can see this is the current setup. I've got here, if I reset this, you can see the display cells quite nice, it just about shows up. At the moment I've got it just scrolling through a uh, piece of uh, kind of welcome text, an idea of potential use for it. But um, the carriers will kind of slot together like so. You can see it starts to curve around. And so the, they're attached in a couple of ways. On the back of the board you've got kind of mounting holes in there. And so I've printed these um, little kind of pieces and they will then snap into place in between one to screen and the next. And so that's how these are held together. So I'm, I'm hot gluing everything as well. So I kind of clip it together then glue it. And at the moment, just for simplicity, I'm just doing these in chunks of four. So at the moment they're kind of glued in place and the screen's also glued into the carriers. And then when it's done, the idea is, well, this was the original fixing method actually, have uh, a nut and bolt kind of running through there. And so that may or may not be needed when this is done. And so I think I've got roughly enough screens to kind of put this together now. And uh, it's, see, it comes together like so. Um, yes, there's one or two more displays to put together here. Uh, where are we? Okay. It starts to form quite a nice circle. So I think when these are in place, it will be a complete sphere. I don't think I'll need to attach any more to it. So it's going to finish off uh, kind of mounting and attaching these last few and see if I can start to bring it together. So I've almost finished kind of constructing this. There's one or two um, sizing issues which I'll mention in a minute, but I've started to notice odd issues with the display and um, I guess the legibility of the text and just the performance of the screens. Sometimes a screen would fail and it wouldn't show the characters properly and this would start to degrade over time. So I've just had a bit of experiment to see what's going on here. And I think it's the power draw. The, the chips are rated at four volts, but yet I've still been experiencing problems. At the moment it's running kind of pretty low brightness and it's working well. The display's been running for a minute or so now, the text circles around and there are no problems. But if I reprogram this up at kind of full brightness, then you should see that when that's done, the text um, fails pretty quickly. So it's just uh, finished uploading now. Here we go. We've lost it almost immediately. Reset that again. And yeah, as soon as it starts to wrap around, more and more LEDs turn on, the power consumption increases, and it reaches a point where it just can't cope, it fails. And so I've been watching the voltage during the startup sequence, and it appears to be around about 4.7, 4.6. It touches that, then it goes. So it... Um, it's not a big deal, it just means I need to run this from a slightly better power supply, put some more filtering in, or I run it at a, a lower level. Um, it's still reasonable, so I can drop this down, back down again to a low level, a little bit brighter than before. But um, I think with a little bit of trial and error, I'll find a combination that uh, seems to work. 
And so that seems to be holding steady. It's not too bad, it's still quite bright. Yeah, so something I'll have a play around with a little bit more to try and find the, the right combination that can maintain this. So in addition to using these kind of locking pins to connect the displays, the using this kind of mechanism here, which is, this is what I originally intended, so using um, these kind of spacers, kind of drawing them up. And uh, and so I think the two together put, gives it some reasonable strength. The hot glue doesn't make a perfect bond to this type of plastic or these materials, it will fracture, so you need to kind of support it in multiple ways. And I think this provides good um, a good kind of combination of that. The problem I've got now though is that uh, the circle is too tight. See that's not going to go, that's just, uh, I think it's at least one display out here. And to be honest I'd quite like it the fuller size so what I'm going to do is um, reprint these. It's actually a third version I've printed, I've got a load of others in different sizes. And so if I increase the spacing between these two holes it'll stretch the entire thing out a little bit. So I think I'm going to reprint a load of these with an extra kind of millimetre spacing and I'll see if that uh, stretches it out enough to get some kind of uh, alignment going on with uh, this kind of number of screens. So I've replaced all the uh, kind of support pieces, switched out kind of slightly smaller one for the slightly longer one and it, rather now being too small it's actually a little bit too big but uh, it does stretch a little bit, so I'm going to force that in like so. So I finished uh, attaching this together and it's looking pretty good. You can see here, I've got a, it all fits together nicely. I've got a ring of text uh, scrolling around and this is on a pretty low light level at the moment because I haven't solved the power issues yet, but it's still very legible, even in kind of a, a whirly lit room like this. But. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. At the the base of it, I had planned to put supports around here as well. I'm I'm still kind of questioning whether I need to do that or not, but um, may go in just to improve the stability of it. I'm going to take a look at uh, the power line, see if that needs any more filtering. But uh, other than that, I am pretty pleased. It's something that uh, only kind of took. I don't know, kind of messing around across two days to put this together. It's quite nice to have a, a finished project. Um, so I still no idea what I'm going to use it for, but um, I'm quite pleased that it's uh, done at least. The uh, the plans for the parts and links I will probably stick up on Thing of Us. There, there's really not much to it, but uh, it did make it kind of very easy to put a screen like this together, so it could be useful for someone.